Hey everyone, welcome back. This is video eight in our Strong Inside and Out series. I know what you're thinking. You thought, oh, I thought this series was over, and actually so did I. Um, in fact, this morning, as it had been so long since I did a video, I was thinking, should I get rid of my camera and my light kit, um, move on to other things? The Lord hasn't really prompted me to make any videos recently. Um, and then within two hours, he gave me a two-part teaching. And so with that being said, please stay tuned for um, the next video, which will be part two to this. And um, I'll be posting in the next couple days as soon as I get it edited. Um, but this is video eight and it's called time under tension. And so what is time under tension? Maybe you're familiar with that term and maybe you're not. Um, but before I started researching and getting involved in working out, um, you know, you had this image in your mind of, you know, okay, I'm going to lift weights and I have, I have 15 reps to do. So here you're, you're pumping it out, right? You're pounding through. Oh yeah, I got to 15. Like it was no problem. Look, I could do it in, in 10 seconds, you know, but actually that's really not what makes the changes in our muscles. And so as this time, as I step forward into the world of, of exercise and working out and weightlifting, I kept hearing this term time under tension, right? And um, so it's this, this concept that it's not, there's, you don't rush it. In fact, you can, you know, get the same benefit as you could for with 96 crunches. If you just did three and every time you did one of those three, you held that crunch for 30 seconds. Okay. And so it's, it's the, the amount of time that your, your muscles are contracted or under tension that actually causes the change and actually causes these um, tears, these, these microscopic tears in your muscles. Okay. And so it's not a race. And in this sense, slow and steady actually wins, right? And in a lot of the videos that I watch when we're doing the weightlifting, we're counting to three, one, two, three, and then lifting one, two, three, right? And, you know, you can build a lot of muscle just from doing things like planks, um, doing negative pull-ups and so on. Okay. So it's that time under tension, not so much, um, how quickly you rush through the process. And so, um, you know, a couple days ago, I'm, I'm in my workout space and, um, one of the coaches that I watch, he's saying, you know, you're going to be tempted to want to rush through this, right? Cause it's, it's hard and we want to pump through it, but, but I want to encourage you to not rush through it. Okay. It's all about the time under tension that really brings the change to our, our, the changes that we're looking for. Right. And so, um, right. As he said that God spoke to me, he was like, that is what we're doing. And he was referring to me in the situation that I've been walking through for so long now. It feels like forever. And it just feels like not only have I been waiting on this thing to happen, but during the process of really waiting for this change to take place, that so much pressure has been on me, different areas of my life, different areas. I've had, you know, lots of tension, so to speak. And so God's like, that is what we're doing. And I thought, you know what, that is an awesome thing that uh, other people could learn from as well. And so I was, I was excited to see that he already planted those seeds inside of me when putting this, uh, this two part teaching together. Okay. So maybe you've been in situations like that, or maybe you can recall a situation like that, right? Where you're just waiting on this change. It doesn't have to be a change within you, but maybe a change within someone else and, and you're waiting or just waiting for something, right? Just waiting for some fruits to come up from the ground, from those, you know, those uh, seeds that you've sown in God's kingdom. And you're waiting. It feels like there's tons of pressure on you and tension on you all the time. And so I'm sure that we can relate to situations like that spiritually, right? But the Bible says in the book of James, to count it all joy when we fall into situations like that, right? Knowing that, that the testing of our faith produces patience, right? And so it's, that's what God's doing. That's what God's doing when we're passing through those seasons. And, and it's never, it's never fun, right? We're constantly like, let's, let's just rush through it. I'm always like, God, give me a deadline. Okay. Give me, give me a finish line. I need to just know. And he's like, no, I'm not going to tell you because you're just going to rush through it. You're just going to race to the end and you're going to miss everything that I'm doing in the process. And so instead God's asking us to endure through those times and those, um, the transitions of, um, you know, of time under tension, so to speak, spiritually, right? And so 
Um, and from that, it produces different things in us. And one of those things, absolutely being patience, right? One of those things, absolutely endurance, right? And it's n remembering that it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. And I am so horrible at remembering that. And maybe you are also, but he wants us to count it all joy and to know that this is producing something greater inside of us than we can even see or understand. Okay. And we're going to talk more about that in the next video and what that process actually looks like unwrapped a little bit more, right? And none of us are, are, you know, perfect and superhumans. We all hurt and we have grumpy moments. And so, like I said, we'll unwrap that a little bit more in the next part of this teaching. Okay. And so, um, we don't want to be tempted. Don't let us be, be tempted to rush through. I know, um, just the other day, the Lord said something to me that kind of shed some light on a situation that I've been passing through and waiting so long. It's been four years and I'm just like, oh, I just want this chapter to end. I just want this chapter to end. Please give me closer to the closure to this chapter. And I think God finally got tired of hearing me say that because he said, have you ever considered that this is what the book is about, right? In other words, okay, this, like I'm talking with him metaphorically about it being a chapter. He's talking to me metaphorically about hey, it's actually not a chapter. It's written in every chapter so far. So just, just enjoy it because that's what the book is about. And so we got to come back and remember God requires us and expects us and wants us to train that muscle of patience and, and to grow in endurance, right? And to count it all joy, knowing that, um, you know, there's a scripture in Corinthians where, um, you know, though the outward man is perishing, the inward man's being renewed day by day. Okay. And so, um, we'll go more into depth in that in the next video, but for right now, I just want to encourage you to, um, continue to count it all joy and to know that it's all about the time under tension and not rushing through or racing through. Okay. So God bless. And I look forward to growing stronger inside and out with you. Oh, 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 oh,